Shall we have a look at three free games today? I think we should, and we're going to start with the wonderfully titled You Have 293 Keys. Because that's that's almost explains everything about the game. That's the tutorial, that's the basic premise, that's the... Like, everything is in You Have 293 Keys. Because when you hit start, you have 293 keys. And a lock. Guess we go from there. Right, let's take this key here and whack it in the lock. Chichunk. Nothing. So that key doesn't work. Let's take another key. Now, all the keys, as far as I can tell, look different. So there is one distinct different key that will open this. And I, I say that believing that they've actually done that as a thing in this game. There is a chance that you just do all 293 keys and it goes, nah, lol. Or it's just the last one. Um, I don't know, and I'm basically going to find out. I've got a bit of a system now. It's look, grab, turn, look, grab, turn. Maybe you have to be looking at it to see if it works. Yeah, I don't want to miss any clues. I don't know how this lock opens. I don't actually know if you have to do something when the key's in the lock, because you sort of let go and it goes to junk, and then pulls out. Uh, so well, that's a very normal-looking key. Is it the normal-looking key? No. Okay, I'm just getting rid of these keys. Uh, one by one. I'm now wondering if they're going to be like dropping back in just to mess with me further But I don't know I guess we'll find out as we basically just organize some keys and try to open the door. This is a uh, this game actually has a deep uh, Meaning behind it and it's that if you fail at something you have a slightly better chance of succeeding the next time So basically just keep trying until you are successful. I'm gonna try some of the keys that are over in that back corner there the ones that are furthest away. The ones you'd get to last. Actually, I'd like to know how many keys it takes me. I hope at the end he goes, you took this many keys. That would be nice to know. You know what else I would like? I'd like this to end at some point. That would be super nice. Okay, so I've been playing this for around eight minutes now. And the paranoia that I've accidentally thrown away the only right key is rising. Very slowly, but it's rising. What if we could make a mound of keys high enough to vault the fence? Maybe instead of, maybe none of these keys actually work. Maybe that's what we got to do. We just gotta pile all the keys up against the wall and climb over. I like triangle toothbrush here. Oh, actually, you know what? I like triangle toothbrush here. Triangle toothbrush for the win! Fuck you, triangle toothbrush. Do do do. do. The music loop is starting to get on my nerves. A little actually, it's starting to drive me mad. It sounds like the sort of music from a, like a crap level of an old Sega Disney game. And that's a very specific thing, but that's exactly what it sounds like. That one is this one. It's this one. It's got me that one. It's got me that one. Ah, for fuck's sake. This one. Put that one in there. That looks like a key. By that way, they all look like keys. That one looks like a key. That's more of a back door kind of key. What kind of key are you? You're, you're a front door kind of key. I'm actually now grading the keys. What are you? You're a spinning magic key. Shit spinning magic key. So this is a 293 in one chance. Of picking this out. So that's the chance of us getting this 293. As soon as we take one away, it's 292. So basically every time we do this, it's getting easier and easier and easier. But initially started out 293 to 1. Actually, if this was winning the lottery, so this, this is the chance of winning the lottery, you'd have to pick one key out of 14 million and it'd be the right one. Yo, standing up key, get in there. Be the right one, be the right one. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm playing sort of the back a little harder now because I feel like... You know how to key anywhere. It's gonna be there, unless it's random, in which case it could be any of them. In which case, I'm, I might be kicking myself in the ass. So I'm thinking I did knock off like one key. What's the chance of that being the right key? Like 200 something to one. So technically, that could have been the right key. It just depends if I'm, I don't know, does that make me very lucky or very unlucky if that was the one? Oh, this key, hang on. Ah, oh, this key's gone through the wall. Come back, I might need you. I'm gonna start throwing the keys in. Wow! Oh no 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 no! <gasps> okay, I'm gonna stop throwing the keys in. <laughs> I've definitely lost one key. Now that better not be the right fucking key. I will be so fucked off. Because now if it doesn't work, I don't know if it's that key that I lost or the game doesn't work. Wait, hang on, this doesn't even have a thing like this is just a stick. Try the stick. Yeah, I'm glad that wasn't the real one, because uh, having just a stick for your key, that's about as secure as Having YouTube for a career. Alright, this is starting to get statistically improbable that it would take me this long to find the goddamn thing. Unless it was in a place where I wouldn't look and they knew where I would look. Cheeky bastards. Cheeky, they're all cheeky bastards. Maybe it is impossible. Maybe I've ruined it. Maybe I've literally wasted 30 minutes of my goddamn life. Triangle, three prong, come on. <gasps> oh. My. 
God! It's doable! Let me in! I'm going in! There's nothing in here. What's we going here? Oh, the stairs! So long, keys! Suck a dick! What's down here? Oh, there we go. You have 93 keys. Total tries 282. 282! 282. That's 11 keys! 11 keys left over! To out of 293, to be 280, the, the odds of that be, I fit, I've seen three-legged horses with better odds than that. All right, next up after that key-based fiasco is Neum. This is a game that lets you click to invert the world. So basically, you go like this, you click a thing, and then you go to whatever level it is. So if we want to go to level one, we click and we roll over to level one, and then level one will be this. So we have to click. Slide him down there, slide him down there, click, slide him up there, slide him up there. Oh, he's bounced off there, click. Ah, ah, uh. no, no, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's a bit of a tricky bugger. It's not as tricky as getting 293 keys, but whatever. Right, roll that shit down there, on, and then we want to turn it off, and then on again, and then go up here, and then on, and then, oh, off, and we're done. Marvellous. Right, next level, bloody hell's bells. Right, so that's going to go... Oh, that's going to click and flick. So we want to go over there. No, that's going to bounce off there. We'll go over there. Right, what if we have that on? Go, and then turn that on. Oh, nice. Okay, then that's going to hit there. We can turn that on. Give it a roll. Give it a click at that point. It'll, it'll flick itself back here. Okay, crap. How do we... Off, on, yes, and yes, and yes. Da 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 Wait, you can do that in two moves? How the fuck do you do that in two moves? Alright, so what are the two moves you can do this in? Oh, hang on, if you went there... Ah, oh, I tried to do it in one! God damn, I wanted to be clever! Alright, if we go on, and then on, and then that's two. So by that point, it has to be on its way. That's a tricky bastard, that is. So, how about... Uh, right, how, how about turn it off there and then on? And then it'll flick you back and crash. Well, that ain't right. Alright, ready? Speeds. It speeds up as soon as it touches. So we want to go there and then on. And then... <laughs> how did I fall through that gap so smooth? That's fucking... Michael Jordan couldn't have fucking done that. Right, it's got to be a flick at the right point there and then turning it back on. I've got to just get that angle just, just right. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking is this. So it goes bing, and then a few more revs, vroom, 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 and then pow, noop, 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 noop. Wait, shit, I'm massively overcomplicating it. What if I just do this? Click, click. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this week, what if I flick it and do all these massive fucking orbits and stuff? What if you just use the first thing you come across? Ah, go fuck yourself, game. And finally, today, we're going to be having a look at a game that was made for the one-bit clicker jam. This is City Clickers. It's kind of like SimCity meets Cookie Clicker, but probably without the insanity. And more use of the word rent. Welcome! This is your city. Build it as you see fit, but remember, you can only place buildings next to roads. Some buildings, like houses, shops, and factories, generate income, while others, such as water towers, parks, and roads, mostly cost money to maintain. It's up to you to manage the fine balance between prosperity and total chaos! Oh, when isn't it? Right! This is uh, everything we've got so far. Ooh, spin it around. Uh, it's our house, we right click it, we can see its rating is neutral. It has zero three residents, rent is two per day. It needs water, employment, and shopping. So, um, let's give it that. If we click a little gap here, click on a road, then do the clicking bit, we now have a, uh, a road there. If we then go for a market, we can right click on them. They need a place to buy their groceries and stuff. So we can then click on the uh, market. And we've built a market. They're also going to need water. So we build a road, and then maybe another road here. Hang on, how much do roads, I don't know how much roads take up per day. Uh, one per day. Well, let's build the water tower at the end of the road here. There's a, it's a reservoir, isn't it? Yes, there we go. Ow! And on this side, we can have a job factory. Yeah. Right, we've got that there. We'll probably build another house opposite here as well. Small housing. There we go. And a little bit more of small housing here as well. 
Go, 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 go. Okay, good. So, how are you feeling now? All good. Damn right. One person's moved in. Now, town has a population of one. Uh, this is the date. It doesn't tick on until you do something. So, if you were to, say, build a road here, like this, you'll see that the date slowly ticks on as you build it. That means it did it once. You can also click this and let it tick through. You also see we're hemorrhaging money at this point. Hemorrhage, hemorrhage, hemorrhage. We need to get some more people in and build more of our little town. Uh, they're complaining they're on a noisy street. Well, tough titties. Uh, right, this costs 15 per day. It has a service range of 10. So that's quite the range. And this has, I think we're currently making minus... Uh, we need more workers in there because we're losing money. We'll get workers in there. It'll start generating us some money. So we need to build roads and workers. And I need to clear that tree that's there. Because fuck that tree. Right, just building some more small housing and uh, small roads, etc. I'm going to stick another little house in there. Gah! Right, good. So, how are we doing? Let's tick on a few days. Population of 11, 12. Still losing around 12 per day. We've got a lot of outcomes on the roads. A lot of outgoings and stuff. The factory is now making a small amount of income. Uh, the market is making quite a nice bit of income. And the shoppers are apparently just tolerable, 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 inadequate. Ah, fucking hell. I'm going to build a little cul-de-sac here with the little bit of money I got left. Money is really running out quite quickly. Little cul-de-sac of house, house, house. And maybe that will bring in a few more people. House, house, and then small housing again. House. Now, we could have... Hang on, is anyone actually living in here anymore? There's one person still living here. I kind of want to add a shop. Because shops look impressive. So I'm going to build a shop as well. Fuck it. I'm going to build it behind these guys. Because fuck these guys. I don't like them. Boom. There we go. So if we take a few days on, we are still hemorrhaging money. But there is no upside. There are some overlays that we can fling on. This is housing attractiveness. You can see that these two on the T-junction, vicious and evil and blah. But this one on the corner... Having a good old time, I suppose, because there's less roads for him. Well, that guy's not got the same thing, but he is next to a house. Hmm. Uh, we can see how many people are in each house. So this bit, very popular part of the town. Up and coming, shite hole. Uh, we can see house needs and warnings. Apparently there's none. And then we get all our finances, etc. So we can see how we're doing. And uh, basically, not good. Road maintenance isn't good. Nothing is good. We could borrow money, though. So we might have to do that. I'm going to take a bit of a risk, a bit of a punt, and I'm going to extend this road all the way around. This road's going to be become a loop. It's not going to tuck right behind them. It's just going to go all the way over like this. And then over this way. And then we're going to build some houses in the quieter places, and then some shops and shit that's necessary in the other places. And then we'll see how that goes. I don't know what that blue loop means. Oh, I think it means we're going to a new month. Either that or I've run out of money. Small housing and around money. So we're now going to need more. Borrow that much. More of that. Um, yeah, good. Now we can build small housing every other. You don't, you don't really want houses clumped together. It doesn't do good for their ratings. But this should be okay if we do a house like sort of every now and then. I'm feeling it. I'm going to just plant some trees in all the gaps. And then I'm kind of hoping that that will be enough to get us a good amount of income coming in and bring some people in and make all this you know a more attractive lovely sort of area but we'll see population of 43 so that's our star ratings three star place this one's terrible why is this one terrible ah because that's a uh touching three bits of the road there these two have now collapsed because a lot of cars are using those so maybe we should move if we I mean, got the money for it but if we trash those two probably would be better um, yeah, there's nobody living in them there. A complete waste of space. That's a shame. How much is that? Take it. That's not costing us anything, is it? No. There's just nobody living in it. The factory is full, so it's making us 15 per day. And, um, what's the shop doing? 7.2 per day. Yeah, so that's that should be pretty much holding even. I mean, it's not. It's now just losing money. Still losing money. If I put everyone's rent up by one, that'd be great. All right, so now we've got much more rent coming in. So this might kill and decimate the population, but we'll see. We made profit for the first time. Right, start clicking through. And population's largely holding. 
Okay, we're not making money. Okay, now we're losing money again because the population is dwindling because we've charged too much for the rent. Fuck it, let's just charge like one person a million pounds. It's a clicker game. And this is why. All right, 120 per day for that person. Go on one day. Hurry, I made money. Go on one day. Yay! All right, they moved out. They moved out really quick. Uh, yeah, it's an appalling status. I ruined one of the best houses, and now I'm just, I got no money. Oh, fuck. The Nerd Cube! The Nerd Cube! Ah. The Nerd Who?